This is a demonstration of the 1U 3D printed rack mount design for six Raspberry Pi 4s with power over ethernet hats. Makes for a really tidy cluster solution. Uh, each Pi is mounted on a tray and that tray slides into the frame. And because it's power over ethernet, there's only one cable coming from each Pi to the switch and that provides both power and data. So my earlier video showed the design of a 2U rack, which holds 12 or 13 pies vertically and uses 2U space. Somebody asked about a more compact design that would fit in 1U, so I turned the frames on their side, changed um, a few other details, and got this, which fits six horizontally uh, and fits into a 1U space. So here's kind of the finished product. Again, the pies slide out. They are mounted each on a tray, and there are more details of that in the other video, um, including showing how to assemble everything and, and put the pie together, so I won't repeat that here. Uh, just show a couple details about the design. This is a prototype. I started by taking the frame, here's where the, the slot slides in, or the tray slots in, and just putting some rails across the top for the threaded uh, rods to go through that hold the whole thing together. Again, those are demonstrated in the other video. But I realized when I did that that this was not a great design. Um, so if I were to put two pieces together, when gravity acts on that, it's going to want to try to stretch the bottom and bend the rods on the top. And they're flexible enough that you would get a little bit of give. So instead, I changed the design to just put those on the bottom. So the cross uh, rods go on the bottom, and now when uh, gravity's acting on it, to flex it, it's either going to have to compress the top of the frame, which is pretty sturdy, or it would have to stretch the rod itself, and that's you know steel, it's pretty sturdy. So the end result is here, this is actually pretty sturdy and feels pretty good. Um, if I turn it upside down, I can feel, the, feel it yielding just a little bit, um, so really works well for um, with, with the rods on the bottom. Uh, I also noticed with this design, I could just chop the top part off. All you really need is enough material to uh, hold the frames in securely, but I like having a little bit of protection. Uh, sometimes when you're inserting things into those racks, uh, it's easy to catch on something, so I wanted a little bit of a frame that goes all the way up and protects it, so that's what we have here. Again, the details of how to assemble everything, including the power over ethernet hat, uh, the pie, and these trays, and inserting the threaded rods that run the length uh, and hold everything together are in the other video for the two-year rack. Um, I did simplify things here. There are no clips, there are no kind of uh, notches and slots that bind these together. These are really just two pieces next to each other, two frames, and the only thing holding it together uh, is the rods going through. And it actually works just fine. The other design, I, I like it, but it's probably more complex than it really needs to be. And to have pieces sticking out on the sides of these would require supports, and um, which then would make the fit not as nice. And anyway, it's, it's really just probably overkill. Uh, so, yeah, I, I'd considered even putting a rod across the back, but again, I think it's just overkill. The two across the bottom is certainly plenty strong, and by putting them on the bottom, that, that makes the whole thing pretty rigid as well because it always stays upright. If you ever want to change the access to the secure digital card, um, that's part of the, what's nice about being able to pull it out. You can actually access that um, without removing the pie from the tray. You know, it gives you plenty of room to grab it, and and work with that, and then you can just insert it back into the tray, into the rack. So personally, I really prefer the 2D or the 2U design. I just think it feels great in the hand. It looks nice. I like the vertical orientation of the pies. So if you think if you are going to go uh, with more than six units, I would probably go with this design rather than two of these. Um, you know, I I do recommend actually printing it, and I've changed the default on Thingiverse to use. I had to print 12 of these instead of 13, because my Switch has 24 ports. So a rack with 13 is, uh, I think 12 is just a, a better number. So having two 6Us stacked will give you the same amount of, same number of pies in the same amount of space, and is a more incremental approach to building it. 
But like I say, I personally just prefer this design. If you're if you think you're going to go with that many uh, more than six pies, I would suggest going with the two U design. But if you just want a smaller uh, cluster to start out with, uh, this works great. And again, it, it you can then just add a second layer in the future, um, and so it's very incremental.